two nuns had it for a door with a strange key. On the door was written God stops here. One nun carries a lamp into a dark room. The other nun prayed at the door. A bloody hand came out of the room. The nun crawled out of it. She said, don't let the devil take over your body. Then she was pulled into the dark room. The nun picked up the key on the floor and went back into the room. She looked at the statue of Jesus on the wall. She picked up the rope from the floor and stood at the window. The devil was coming toward him. The cross on the wall began to turn upside down. The nun jumped out the window. She chose to kill herself. The cross on the wall burned. The window slowly closed. The devil stood at the window. Fletcher came to deliver supplies to the convent. He found the nun's body. The bishop of the church thought the nun's death was unusual. Father Burke was assigned to investigate the nun's suicide. Sister Irene, a novice nun, was also assigned to investigate. They came to the convent with Fletcher. They buried the hanged nun first. The priest found blood on the steps of the convent that hadn't dried. Father Burke sees a figure passing by. Burke followed the figure to the cemetery. The figure was Danny who was already dead. A snake came out of Danny's mouth. The snake jumped out of Danny's mouth and onto the ground. Burke was so scared. They fell back. He fell into a coffin. Now it was closed. Burke's name was written on the tombstone. The ground returns to normal. Burke was buried in his grave. Irene was awakened by a strange noise. She looks around the room. Burke cries out desperately. A dark figure appears behind the cross. The figure slowly walks up behind Irene. But when she turned around, she couldn't see anything. The demon Irene went out into the yard. She heard the bells in the cemetery. The demon jangled the bells on purpose to create confusion. Irene calmly went into meditation. She quickly found Burke's location. Erin grabbed a shovel and started digging the grave. The demon Irene finally breaks open the coffin. The demon disappeared. Irene rescued Burke from the coffin. She asked Burke why he was here. Burke couldn't figure it out. Irene is praying. The dress on her back was ripped open. The devil has put a mark on her back. Irene heard a knock at the door. She went to open the door for the priest. When she turned around, she realized the nuns who had been praying with her were gone. There was something on the floor covered with a white cloth. Irene lifted the cloth. Underneath the cloth was a dried body. The corpse was holding a cross in his hands. Irene covered it up again. While they were discussing what to do with the corpse, the corpse suddenly sat up the cross in her hands and the priest in her mouth. The priest and Fletcher held the body down. Irene took a crucifix from the priest's bag. The priest pressed the cross to the head of the corpse. He began to recite an exorcism. The cross turned red. The corpse began to burn. The priest's hands were burned by the cross. Fletcher shot the corpse again. The corpse was burned to ashes. But the demon was not destroyed. The only way to send the demon back to hell was to find the blood of Jesus. They found a keyhole in the wall. After inserting the special bite into it, a door opened in the wall. The blood of Jesus was inside. Burke put the blood of Jesus around Irene's neck. 